Hi guys, it's Janek from Olympics, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use our plugins component synchronizers. As always, I would like to remind you that this tutorial and many other useful resources can be found in our documentation at docs.olympics.cc. Olympics comes with built-in synchronizers for transform, rigid body, rigid body 2D, and object's active state. To use them, you will first need to add the Olympics behavior component to your object. Olympics behavior is very important since it contains the network ID that allows the system to identify the object. It also contains the predictable for field in which you can set which players will or won't be able to simulate the object themselves. Once you've added the Olympics behavior to an object, you will see that it contains the buttons for adding the built-in synchronizers. If you don't see the rigid body synchronization, you will first need to add the rigid body component to your object for the Olympics mono behavior to detect it. Pressing these buttons will create a script when once they are added, they will make sure that the respective component is synchronized properly between the instances. As you can see, once I add the object's active state synchronization, I can change its value on the server instance and it corrects itself on the client instance. When I add the transform synchronization, it will synchronize the values of players position, rotation, and scale. As you can see, after adding the transform synchronization, we got a yellow warning next to rigid body synchronization. They both operate on the same values, so it's a bad practice to use both of them, and it will cost you some performance. Once I add the rigid body synchronization, you can see that the physics are simulated and the cube falls on both instances. That's it for this video, but we've got more tutorials on the way. In the meantime, we encourage you to visit our website at olympics.cc and to join our community Discord, links in the description below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.